Welcome to another Sentry Show and Tell. Ricardo is a Sentry engineer who works on our telemetry team. He's going to show off some improvements he's made to Sentry's upcoming dynamic sampling feature. Dynamic sampling is currently in beta. Check out our blog post, help articles, and docs about dynamic sampling, linked in the description. Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Busetti. I have just joined Sentry as a software engineer in the telemetry experience team here in Vienna. And in this show and tell video, I'm going to show you what we have built in order to increase the user experience on dynamic sampling. The first feature that we designed is called transaction breakdown. And the idea behind this feature is that we want to enable the user to see and have more visibility into the connected services to this specific project. In Sentry, we have the concept of distributed tracing, in which a specific trace composed by sub-transactions can contain transactions that span over multiple projects. The idea of this graph is that we want to enable the user to see how these transactions are distributed. That is, we want to see the relative volume of transaction for each specific project with respect to the total number of transactions. As you can see here in this transaction breakdown, we can hover here to get more details. And actually we can see that we have the JavaScript project, which is the parent project that has a 4% transaction volume, whereas Sentry has 58 and Snuba 37.19. So what we want to do is actually enable the user to see which kind of effects the change in sample rate in the parent project will have on the children project. This is because in Sentry, if we set the sample rate of a specific parent project, let's say to 100%, then all of the transactions that are connected to the parent transaction generated by this parent project will have the same sample rate. And so with this kind of graph, we are going to show the user a more in-depth representation of this distribution. The second feature that we designed is more of a quality of life improvement. And the idea behind this feature is that we know that most developers want to actually get more observability and visibility over the error happening in the new releases. Because of course they are scared that something might go wrong. To do this previously you could, but you need to go and add a rule and each time you need to filter by release and you need to specify manually the latest release. For example, in this case, the 1.0 will have a 100% sample rate. However, let's suppose that you deploy multiple versions a day. This of course is a process that has a lot of human errors inside. And for this reason, we decided to design a filter for it. The filter is called latest release and you can enable it exactly in the same way as we did before. We just go to add rule, we add a condition and we filter by latest release or releases. The idea of this filter, it will then it will be automatically applied each time a new latest release is done in order to actually, for example, have a 100% sample rate on the latest release and we will like to reduce the sample rate on the other releases. So this is what we have built and we hope that you will like it.